This I wanna nail sports to the bone Top vlog at the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell Viewers and subscribers, what's up, what's up, what's up, my beautiful sports to the bone family? Welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Yes, my peeps, so just a quick update for you guys. Gonna give you some information as it relates to that warm-up game between the West Indies and the Prime Minister 11 over there in Australia. Plus, we're gonna talk a little bit about the England pacer Jaffa Archer, who is working his way back to full fitness. The man is already cracking people on the helmet. You're gonna wanna stick around to hear all about that my peeps so if you have not yet subscribed please go right ahead and subscribe to the channel make sure you leave a like and drop a comment and watch the video until the end all right so let's get straight into it my peeps so uh west indies as i am making this video they are gearing up to take the field in the se well in the second warm-up game you know after after tour over there in australia against the prime minister 11 I'm um, not sure if you guys would have heard the video that I did this morning. Uh, the Prime Minister 11 team, they were actually on 297 for 9 at the close of play. So West Indies in search of one more wicket and the Prime Minister 11 probably looking to push it past 300. I am hoping that, you know, at least 20 minutes into the second day's play, we will be able to get that wicket so our batsmen can get so much needed um, batting practice out there. Whether it is the case that the Prime Minister 11, whether they are going to declare or we're going to take that wicket pretty pretty quickly i am hoping that 20 minutes into the game into the into the second day our batsmen are actually gearing up to go out there to bat so that they can um get a look on how things are going you know as you would have seen in the clip there at the beginning of the video alzari joseph he picked up a couple of wickets I think it was actually four wickets that he got uh, I mean, the bowlers, as I was indicating in the video earlier this morning, the bowlers, they did not get off to a good start. You know, um, the, the, the Prime Minister 11 team made over 100 before we took the first wicket. But we were able to fight back and basically bring them to 297 for 9, which is not too bad looking at how we would have started. So, you know, hopefully our batsmen will be able to get an opportunity to go in there pretty soon and do some work. Because, you know, um, this, this test, this the first test and the 29 it's definitely it's definitely going to i'm thinking it's going to live up to its name it's going to put us to the test my peep so you know i am hoping that these guys will get as much um batting practice as necessary i i am st i personally am still holding um truth to the to the plane 11 that i would have selected a couple of weeks ago you know tejna and shando paul should open that is why he's there um you know some people still saying they don't want to put him in the line of fire he opens for me alongside brathwaite and um you know then 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 they can work it how they want it you know we have people like bannon and, and brooks and mirrors and all of these guys to fit in but the important thing is that i want this youngster to open in this practice game here and in this warm-up game here and get his eye in you know i i gather that the reason he didn't open in the first innings of the first warm-up game is that he was feeling ill and thing you know he got a chance in the second innings didn't wasn't too fruitful so you know definitely looking forward to him doing some work looking forward to the middle order standing up i mean uh devon thomas and jason holder they both got an half century in the first game there so looking forward to them doing some more work if they are going to get an opportunity to bat so yes my peeps just wanted to let you guys know that um things are uh looking are, are actually building up nicely for the second day of that um warm-up game against the president's uh the prime minister's 11 so you can just go down in the comment section my peeps and let me know what you think about that do you guys think that the our players will be able to get that wicket quickly and um you know what sort of runs do you think we are going to be able to make are we going to chase down that 297 or we're going to falter you know the first the first warm-up game we were able to get some runs um is it going to be a case where we got some runs in that first warm-up game but not able to get some uh you know some runs in this game just let me know what you think in the comment section my peeps 
um, you know, whichever way it work, this is not the, the, the Australia team that we are going to be playing. So I'm hoping that, you know, whatever they are doing out there, they just spend some time at the wicket and, you know, basically try and get themselves into farms in. All right. So before we jump out of here, my peeps, I just want to take a look at um, the England pace at Jaffa Archer. Quite a few people, you know, they, they tend to, to, to feel some kind of way when I do reports on Jaffa Archer saying that why am I reporting on him? He's a sellout and he's this and that. But as I often time tell people, this is not a West Indies um, page. This is a sports page. So we cover we cover um sporting sporting um topics. So yeah, yeah, my peeps, Jaffa Archer is actually well and truly back on his way to full fitness you know he had a game i think it was earlier today and he actually cracked um zach crawley on the helmet and you know zach crawley was actually stunned they had to check him out and thing you know so um jaffa arch i i saw a couple of well not only one i think maybe about two or three clips i would have seen with him doing some work in the game and also in um you know bowling in net session looking really smooth looking quick as per usual seems as if he's cranking it up into the 90 miles per hour you know um it's always good when we see fast bowlers um fit and playing so jaffa archer is definitely one of those guys that we want to see um playing as i said you know in early in the game there you know, he actually hit um, Zach Crowley on the helmet. And this is what Crowley had to say um, as it relates to that. And I quote, they say you can add three miles per hour to that 90 miles per hour on the speed gun. So he's bowling good pace. He always bowls quick. That's Jaffa Archer. He obviously got me in the first over and it won't be the last time, I'm sure. He's a top bowler and it's good to see him back in the field says zach crawley after you know he he, he he got that nice little um greetings there from greeting there from um from jaffa archer so let me know what you think down there in the comment section my peeps do you think jaffa archer will be the same bowler you know that he was before the injury oftentimes they say that you know when you get injured as a fast bowler especially if it has anything to do with your knee your shoulder um elbow or lower back you know more more often than not you are not the same bowler so just go ahead in the comment section and let me know what you think about all of that my peeps is in all right before we run out of here i'm not too sure how many persons are actually following the world cup so you know um the last game that i saw earlier to uh in the in the evening we had Belgium getting the better of uh, Belgium getting the better of Canada. That was a very very um, tight game. You know, Belgium only managing to win it by a goal to nil, if my memory serves me right. And this was after Alfonso Davis. You know, he missed a penalty. Uh, so Canada they were awarded a penalty, and Alfonso Davis he was unable to convert you know those who follow football will know that alfonso davis he is the um the wing back that plays uh for for the for the german team bayern munich i think it was in the 10th minute that he missed that penalty and in the 44th minute uh michi Batshuay, he was able to convert and gave belgium the lead which ended up to be the winning goal so yeah that is it my peeps just go and big up on yourself and we'll touch base again soon 